Hello traders, Nick Shaheen here looking at Fubo, uh, Fubo TV. So I didn't know much about it until uh, last week and this week where a whole bunch of people in the chat room are fans of it and I thought it was completely about soccer and I looked into it and it's um, it's basically a competitor to what I use, so YouTube TV. I use YouTube TV. Um, mixed feelings about it just because, you know, as soon in the middle of the pandemic they they hiked their prices 35 percent to 65 dollars which is about where fubo is and um, you know i'm not compelled to switch but if um, i think fubo offers a free trial i'll give it a shot to see if the interface is better if the streaming is better if, uh, google tv youtube tv has a few bugs here and there but all in all i do like it because i can use um, voice commands uh, maybe you can do that with fubo i don't know we'll find out but let's talk about the fubo stock so it's falling and everybody's freaking out, but this was, um, I saw, I didn't see it coming. Somebody asked me about it a couple of days ago and I hand drew this and it, I shared it in um, yesterday. Uh, today is the last day of the year. Good riddance, dude. And uh, <laughs> so I, um, I shared this, beep, 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 what's going on? We'll go check. Um, there was a, a drop and then a consolidation period. The bulls were trying hard to keep this line and we'll see, we'll pick it up today. It's somewhere around here. And I had two baselines for it. it today it just ticked the first baseline. The second baseline is basically the orange line that's that's automatically drawn. This is the point of control. Gold, yes, I'm long gold. All right, so we'll close that. So this orange line is for this period of time, this is the place where they traded it the most. The second most area is up here, which they lost. It's that little consolidation jag. So this was about where I drew my lines, and then I put a box down here, and it's in the middle of that box right now. So th th these are the lines, and it's somewhere in the middle of the box. Is it a time to panic? So let me put it this way. If, if I got it in up here, and I'm not out yet, if I get out here, it means I don't care about the charts. Because according to this chart, if I'm long Fubo, I don't get out now. Uh, this zone should be supportive, as th this right here should have been supportive, but they could be drawing this bad boy out. Is it going to 22 and a half? Um, you know, it's definitely within the target, technically, but not always do they fill that target. Uh, this, I think, is a pretty long period of time given by long. I put that in quotes. It's a fairly recent... Um, stock, I guess, attention span from the investors. And this is a pretty good consolidation zone. So let's see what it does here. So if you want to, um, you know, hard line in the sand, 25 and a half, which is the last tick here that brought about this whole rally. So technically, this is not a place to panic out. Whoosh. <laughs> we'll see what happens with that one. I don't, I, I'm not in it, thank goodness. Uh, so, um, t there's not much to say about it. I looked at the channels they offer. Everybody's going to be streaming something. Uh, we're not, um, I don't know if I call it cord cutters because, okay, so I'm streaming, but I have coax cable still because that's the modem, uh, the, the pipeline to the internet. So I'm still using uh, cable, but not cable. So I use my phone to watch uh, shows. Um, DVR is virtual, unlimited. I don't think they have unlimited DVR. So let's look at the um, stats. I think it's too young for me to look here. That'll be meaningless. Yeah, let's not do that. Um, they they do have a lot of subscribers and they're growing. And that part is the excitement, the, the their growing part. Remember Netflix? Netflix's stock keeps rallying purely on, not fundamentals, but on the fact of the potential, the global expansion of what they did in the US. So we have 7 billion people on the planet. How many opportunities is it for Fubo to grab some of that? Um, so they seem to have good partnerships. I looked at the listings. Um, I'm compelled to check it out. I wouldn't be saving any money, so I wouldn't be compelled to switch uh, from YouTube TV. But if it were cheaper, I probably would. Or if I get pissed off at uh, YouTube people, I'm, I may ditch them. So we'll see. Um, that's about it. Basically is let's see what happens inside the, this box. I didn't see the box coming until somebody asked me about it. So it's not like I was a genius and I told you to get out. But I did tell the person that if it if I'm putting a stop, I would get out as soon as I lose this 
consolidation zone because it's headed lower, a lot lower. So here it is 20% lower. So if they got out, then they saved themselves some hassle. And that would be not the same thing I would say to somebody saying, uh, what about it now? I'd say, well, if I'm long, I'm not getting out to see what happens here. All right, everyone, if this is the last video of the year, have a great year.